What's Hello. Up? Hello. Hello. What? Hi. Oh, it's us. Hi. We. We're good at this. What's up, everyone? We are at our stomping grounds for our hunting slash fishing slash goofing around place. We're really roughing it too. We're roughing it here. We'll have to give you a tour, mm -hmm. but we're here in North Texas and uh, we got some work to do because rifle season starts here in a couple weeks for whitetail. Um, and so we made the trip down for the weekend so that we can get some stuff done and make sure everything's ready in a couple weeks. But while we're here, we're going to do some fishing. We're going to do maybe some dove hunting uh, and probably a whole lot of work. The cool thing is that, uh, like five days ago, it was literally 31 degrees. Uh, for those of you across the pond, I don't know what that is in <clears throat> Celsius, but it's below, it's like below zero. <laughs> it's below <laughs> zero. Uh -huh. We'll have a math lesson. What is that? Physics? I don't, listen, hey, it was cold. Uh -huh. And then this weekend, it's supposed to be 92. I don't like that. So we chose the wrong weekend, but it is what it is. We'll get it done. I just, oh, I'm so tired of the Texas summer. Freaking brutal. Anyways, hey, we got some cool new toys. So what we're recording on right now is actually the uh, GoPro. It's got a camera. It's a camera. <laughs> it captures things uh -huh. in the lens and then plays it back for you. Yes. But it's the GoPro Hero 11. Yes. Um, you can kind of like, it's an upgrade I feel like in, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Like versatility, right? Versus your phone because, well, it's a GoPro and you can like mount it more places and it's tougher. Yeah, and it doesn't break. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you just <swear. laughs> But we got two of them. So let's show you this setup right here. Check this out, dude. So with this one, we actually got the media mod, which has like this little light on the side and it's got this case so we can put an external uh, microphone to it. And we have this, uh, what's called the Volta, which is basically a uh, handle, but also at like an external battery. Um, and then you see attached to it uh, is this little box, which is actually part of our DJI. Did I say DG? Yes, everyone does. Oh my gosh, the DJI oh, wireless one. mic kit. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to, we'll show you the difference in the audio right now. So that's that, but peep this. Epic reveal time. Epic reveal, epic reveal time? Epic reveal time? One second, I hit the wrong button. One second, I hit the wrong button. Epic. Epic reveal time. Psh, there's the microphone, dude. This, you don't have to always have the little fuzzy on it, but that's like your windscreen and we're about to go out and uh, do a little driving on the ATV and just see how the microphones sound with wind noise and maybe do a little fishing. But this is the raw GoPro audio. Peep this. So this is the audio. <laughs> so this is the... <laughs> So this is the audio with the DJI microphone, which I think should hopefully sound a whole lot better. Um, it just, and it works from like 250 yards away. I think it'll make things sound a lot better and we can do a lot more in like editing with it and that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited to really come down here and play with these toys, get some work done, get some hunting done, get some fishing done and bring you guys along with us. And like I said, we probably won't do it tonight, but tomorrow we'll give you a tour of this place because we're roughing it pretty hardcore these days. Yeah, it's really bad. It's pretty brutal.
I can't even see where the line is. Gee wee. Oh God. He sw <laughs> He Gee swallowed that bad boy. Good luck with that. Holy cow. Gotta get that thing out of there. There we go. Look at you. The monster. I'm gonna try not to blow my back out when I throw this back out there. But hey, that's I mean he's a pretty little fish. He's skinny. He is skinny. I think they're all skinny in here. Mm-hmm. Be free, my friend. I'm recording to test out the sound of the microphone. Sound, sound, of, the sound microphone. of the microphone. Sound of the microphone. Sound of the microphone. 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 This is a microphone. We're driving and it's the sound of the microphone. Sound of the ah! microphone. Yeah. Microphone. Uh, I am speaking in the microphone. This makes it really hard to see where we're driving. Oh, I know. So, yes, yeah, so we're driving 10 miles per hour with these things on our chest. So, hopefully, there's not a ton of wind noise. I guess we'll see whenever we. Uh, Windshield up. Windshield up. No protection from the wind. Peep this donut, bro. I was gonna do it fast. Wow. <laughs> Rise and shine, it's the crack of 12.30 p.m. <laughs> we stayed up a little too late last night. So, it's the midday, it's hot, it's gonna get hotter, but we got some work to do. We gotta go around, put some corn in the feeders, uh, which is not real exciting, but we thought we'd take you around with us anyways, before we get into doing fun stuff. We gotta get all the work done. All right, so we're here at our first feeder. If you're here for our like travel content or whatever, then you may not even know anything about hunting, but, uh, or if you're in like Northern states, whatever, dude, where you guys have lots of public land, you probably think feeders are cheating. But in, in Texas, like there's like 90 something, put the actual number here on the screen because I don't know what I'm talking about, percent of land that's like privately owned. And so it'd be nice to have thousands of of acres to like wander around and find game trails and all this kind of stuff. But uh, that's like a neighboring fence line right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so in Texas, dude, most of us use feeders and we're using like a new stuff that we're putting in there today. Um, I forget what this is even called because we, I've never heard of it until we bought it because it was the only thing there. Big time that's got like, it has like sunflower seed and all this different stuff in it. So I'm, I'm anxious to see you know what this looks like and hopefully it even throws well out of the feeder but our feeder is kind of like a work smarter not harder scenario you can see versus the other ones that we're going to be going around to but this thing like cranks down and it's a lot easier to load up versus getting on an eight foot ladder we gotta get some bags in this i think we got about it's, it's, it's not too bad we got like four feeders to do today maybe four or five bags a piece and then it's you know then we're just free to do what we want
What? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I guess water got in there. Oh, dude, that sucks. That sucks a lot. <laughs> How'd that happen? I have no idea. Must have been when we got that real heavy rain because we only had it one rain. Oh, no. So all this stuff is clumped together. Well, here, take that out. So all this stuff, instead of going down into the into the bottom so it can actually spin out, is all mildewy and, and junked up because it got water in it. That is not cool.
I'm a lot of things, but a handyman ain't one of them. So we're gonna make a handyman out of him. What we got is right here. See this right here? This is called flex paste. I seen a man cut his boat in half one time, and he flex pasted, mm -hmm. taped it, what sealed it. Yep. And it floated. So I'll so be done. It's darned. gotta work. It's gotta work it's gotta on work. this. Let me turn you around here. I don't know if we showed this before, but what happened that gunked up all our crap and lost gunked us Gunked up our crap. Yeah. It lost us $100 worth of corn. Something freaking chewed right here. We need to just get a metal lid and be done with it. But uh, obviously, there was one weekend. The one weekend it rained, it rained like 10 inches. So I'm sure it was just all standing in here and then just all ended up in the barrel. So we'll see if we can't uh, remedy that now. When this comes off. Smarter than the lid. Smarter than the lid. <laughs> Good Lord, it is windy. Yes, it is. Here's our new stuff. Ooh, oh. Ooh. It smells really good, dude. It's like cherry. Cherry flavor scented. All right, what do I want to do? I don't know. It's supposed to rain again on in Monday. two days, yeah. so. Lord, they got like 18 seals on here. What's that, that seal? That. Stop. Read directions. Nah. It's I'll decide. Make sure you don't put air bubbles in it, so don't. I'm going to scrape. Yes, scrape I top. caught it. Jeez. Scrape Louise. it on the top. See? <laughs> See how scrapey it is? Oh, gosh. This... It's like peanut butter. It's actually the consistency of uh, like icing. You should try some. You want me to? You're trying to collect my life insurance. I don't have life insurance on you. Well, then what are you doing? <laughs> it doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's no, sealed. No, I ain't worried about pretty. Every time you scrape it, you pull off. <laughs> There's somebody at home like cringing to death right now. I'm cringing and I'm sitting right here. Well, it's tougher than it looks, okay? It's a big old hole. It was a mighty hole. So many holes. How'd that look? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like icing a cake. Your mommy didn't ever let you ice a cake. <laughs> Back in my old cake icing days, they called me Mr. Smooth as Butter. Because it looks so darn smooth. How about that? How about it? <laughs> you want to try your hand at it? A little missy? And just like that, it's like it never even happened. Yep. Looks good to me. Now we gotta let it dry for a little while, I guess, before we put it back on here. We'll come back out maybe after it gets dark. We can't leave the top off because there'll be a family of raccoons that moves into the <laughs> to the barrel. Yep. Or there'll be a somehow a hog will find a way to crawl up it and and eat the entire thing. All this will probably be gone by early next week. It was very sad having to dump that much out. It's money. It's just like burning money. And this is what all day has been for. <laughs> it's like, we got what, like an hour maybe before, before it, uh, it turns night? Probably. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Sunset, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, dude, it's, it turned out to be more work than we thought. Yeah, but how cool do we look? <laughs> the crazy thing is, it's not that noticeable on I know. your face. I know. That's pretty nuts. Dude, I, we've seen like two dove driving around all day, so we don't have high expectations, but we came out here with the intentions of sitting. And I mean, listen, we can either sit inside or we can sit outside, so. <laughs> we're set up and just, a, we had no idea where we were even going to set up. We're just set up in a random little spot. And uh, not too far that away, there's some fields planted and stuff. And I know during the early part of dove season, there were quite a few over there. So, I don't know. We got a little duck flapper out here because we don't have a dove flapper. 
We're just gonna see what happens, but uh, we don't have high expectations. Also, on the there's a big pond out here that has got about 30 geese on it right like the last five hours. Yeah, which is really cool. They'll be gone by the time we can actually hunt geese, but now we just need doves. And ducks. And ducks, but not ducks right now. Ducks in a couple weeks, but doves right now. At least it's cooling off. Mm-hmm, yes. Don't let anybody tell you hunting ain't hard work. Look at this. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Look at this. We basically got lazy boy recliners. These things swivel. They're pretty magnificent. Hit that dove call. Yeah, we left our dove calls. Hit that dove call. Okay, don't hit the dove call. That is a pretty, pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> We're new to this whole uh, recording with GoPros thing. So if the whole last shot was me looking into the sky, sorry. We'll get better. You're going to look in the sky for birds anyways, you know? Oh, true. <laughs> Tell you what. Whoever shoots the most doves has mm -hmm. you got a whole flock of oh, little boy, birds man, around you. <laughs> Whoever shoots the most dove uh, has dinner made for them. How about that? And what if nobody shoots any doves? And, okay, well, since I'm such a primo shot, they used to call me Dove Sniper 5000 back in my day. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I'll make I'll make dinner. I'll give you the, if we tie. Okay. Even if it's tied at zero, I guess. Okay. Then I will make dinner for you. Gourmet. Okay. Hey, Rocky. How many have you shot? Uh, carry the one. Zero? Oh. So far? Hey, there's still time, girl. And believe me, if they come within, I don't know, 70 yards, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they're getting plucked out of the sky. Uh-huh. So, any second now, I'm going to seal the deal. Mm-hmm. Did see one, but it was more like 71 yards. Time's up. It's not true, dude. Time's up. 12 hours, 22 minutes. Your next hunting light. Well, guys, it's like your girl's getting dinner made for her tonight. First time since we've been married. What, 13, <laughs> 12, 13 years? Stop it, dude. Stop it. I'll take care of you. Okay. I'm excited I'm just, to see what you got. I'm just sad. Why? Well, we didn't shoot anything, but also I gotta show you up. Yeah. On them cooking skills. Uh huh. You know? I expect dinner or uh, dinner dinner and dessert. Carol, please. We got some moon pies back at the house. We ate those already. We don't have those anymore. We <laughs> <ate>. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you like one ice cube or two ice cubes for dessert? Didn't surprise me. Okay, I got you. Put a little sugar on it. My well, watch just told me to stand up, so. <laughs> I guess it's time to, gosh darn, dude. We should have just, we should have been fishing. Hey there, geeses. Farewell. All right, I am a man of my word, darling. Can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, eat gourmet. Allow me to introduce. Close your eyes. What you doing? Allow me to introduce to you. Chicon nougat, <laughs> a, a, a noodle and cheese, and water burger ketchup combination. 
You can see these are actually tiny little dinosaurs. Do you see? I see. Yes, that one is a Brontosaurus. Yes. Yes. This one here, that's a Stegosaurus. Oh, right? look at this. Yes, that is a foot from a dinosaur. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wow, 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 wow. You get shapes when your man cooks for you. By the time you start cooking. <laughs> what do you think? I bet you're glad that I lost now. Uh huh. Because what would you have prepared? I don't know. Probably like six course dinner. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, this is what we get now. So yeah. next time, maybe let me shoot some. <laughs> also, dude, I am pretty certain that T Bunny had like the dove in cahoots because we let, like literally it got like shooting light. Like, you can only shoot up to a certain time. And we saw no less than 40 dove on our way back. Mm -hmm. So she planned that. I, it was, she just wanted to have a gourmet meal. And what my baby wants, my baby gets. It is good. So next morning, round two, there's no way that we're getting skunked again. Show them, show them the perfect spot. Perfect. It's the perfect spot. Ain't getting no more perfect than this. Guarantee we're not getting skunked again. Guarantee we're not getting skunked again. Well, we got skunked again. Let's go fishing. The Bass Slayer, I almost looked to myself, dude. The Bass Slayer 5000. It's about to unleash hell upon the pond. Luckily, the 20 mile per hour wind gusts have stopped for the time being, but I'm sure they're right back around the corner. Goose are still hanging out over there. Gooses, geeses, geese are still hanging out over there. We're gonna throw this around for like 30 minutes, see what happens, and then it's, it's time to go home. I'm trying to save face on the weekend since we shot literally nothing. So, uh, here it goes. Oh my god! Oh, I was not paying attention. That completely caught me off guard. Oh god! He tried. Something just, did you see that? <laughs> oh my God. It just sank like to my ankles. All I want. 
is to go right there. Guaranteed fish right here. Guaranteeing it. I ain't never been wrong about a guarantee in my entire life. All right, we'll just cut that part out and add it in. Woo! Okay. skunked again <laughs> that's been the name of the game no i caught a fish on friday night so not skunked told you guys i would give you a tour of what we stay in uh when we're out here hunting it's more of a hunt club scenario <laughs> than it is a hunt. listen i don't want you to think we're all hoity tight hoity tidy whities dude <laughs> listen here's what we stay in okay so it's uh we're not roughing it anymore <laughs> by any means we've put a lot of the roughing it days behind us okay but listen there's definitely some things okay look at this look at this there's a little laxity in that you see that <laughs> it's uh so we don't always have the place to ourselves but more often than not it's either us or our friends that we've been friends with for a long time uh but we got our little living room a little kitchen right here where we um cook things and then let me show you our room for the moment. We're getting ready to leave, pull out of here. We've been defeated enough. But back here is where we normally stay. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> kind of scared me. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Ah. And then, uh, I mean, listen, I told you guys that, that we don't, we don't, you know, sit that high on the hog. Is that even a expression anymore? Listen, this... <laughs> This walk-in shower, that doesn't even remove. That's just stationary, if you can believe that. So, I mean, <laughs> but this is, I mean, essentially, this is it. We're not, we're not roughing it. We put our roughing it days behind us, at least for the time being. That's not to say there won't be another place or something in the future where we got to go back to, you know, wipies for showers and all that kind of stuff. But for the time being, this is it. There's other rooms. They've all got pretty much kings in them <laughs> they've all got big walk-in showers but i told you guys that i would give you a tour so i gave you a tour <sighs> it was a weekend it was more of a get stuff done weekend than a actually hunting and fishing weekend but sometimes that's just how it be we had fun anyways but it's time to pack it up we're only like two hours from our house so it's not a terrible drive but uh hey i appreciate you guys watching if you want to like and subscribe that definitely helps a lot and then uh, we'll just see you on the next one